People break out into cheers watching Pope Francis step off the plane in Maryland today. His historic U.S. schedule is packed with a mass in D.C. tomorrow, then speaking to Congress on Thursday, then it's off to New York, to the U.N. on Friday. And over the weekend, he'll be in Philadelphia and talking to Catholic faithful all along the way. And by the time he heads back to Rome, he will have given 18 speeches in the U.S. alone. And Catholics around the world are watching his visit closely, including right here in Denver and Colorado. And 7 News reporter Mark Stewart spoke to three women tonight. Mark, they are anxious to hear from the Pope. And tonight we talked to three generations of Denver Catholics who all share high expectations for the Pope's visit. They hope his mere presence will inspire all of us to do something positive. I admire that he's looking out for the poor. Laura Morales. He's a visible Pope. Esther Lubin. I think he's going to inspire a lot of people. And Sister Alicia Caron. All feel a sense of hope seeing Pope Francis here in our country. He's on U.S. ground, which, I mean, it's beautiful to know that he's here. You can impact a lot more people when you come into their own country, see them face to face. It's the Pope's message of helping others these women hope will prevail, no matter your faith. The message that he brings is a universal message, a message of reaching out and touching the hearts of all people. Don't just talk the talk, walk the walk. You know, he expects you to get out there and be a member of the community and do some good things. And for Catholics who may have questioned the church, the Pope's presence in the U.S., even on social media, may fuel a new sense of community. It definitely makes me rethink um, the Catholic religion again and maybe going to Mass more often. A visit from the Vatican with a legacy far beyond photo ops. Just by his presence here and his actions of moving people together and bringing them together, I think it's going to make a, a big difference. And there is a lot of encouragement surrounding this trip, from the Pope's growing inclusion of women to hopes he will prompt discussions about immigration. And the country is watching. And the world, you're right.